Simon Cameron March 8, 1799, to June 26, 1889, was an influential American businessman and politician who served as United States Secretary of War for Abraham Lincoln at the start of the American Civil War. Cameron made his fortune in railways, canals and banking, and founded the Bank of Middletown. He then turned to a life of politics. He became a U.S. Senator in 1845 for the state of Pennsylvania, succeeding James Buchanan. Originally a Democrat, he failed to secure a nomination for senator from the Know-Nothing Party, and joined the People's Party, the Pennsylvania branch of what became the Republican Party. He won the Senate seat in 1857, and became one of the candidates for the Republican nomination in the presidential election of 1860. Cameron gave his support to Abraham Lincoln, and became his Secretary of War. He served only a year before resigning amidst allegations of disorganization and corruption during the early phases of the American Civil War. Cameron then became the minister to Russia, but was overseas for less than a year. Beginning in 1867, he again served in the Senate. He was succeeded by his son, J. Donald Cameron in 1877, and only resigned upon confirmation that his son would succeed him. After leaving the Senate, Cameron lived in retirement, but still participated in politics and tended to his many business interests. He died in 1889 and was buried in Harrisburg. Cameron's chief legacy was a powerful Republican Party machine that continued to dominate Pennsylvania politics long after his death. <laughs> Early life Simon Cameron was born in Maytown, Pennsylvania in 1799, to Charles Cameron d. The 16th of January 1814, son of Simon Cameron and Martha P. Fouts (1771–1830), daughter of Conrad P. Fouts Fouts (1734–20 November 1808), a ranger during the American Revolution, and Elizabeth Cameron (1733–1827), and his wife Martha McLaughlin d. Apt. 10 November 1830, daughter of Hugh McLaughlin, but the above personal information does not match the story that he was orphaned at nine and later apprenticed to a printer, Andrew Kennedy, editor of the Northumberland Gazette before entering the field of journalism. It may be that he was apprenticed to Kennedy at age nine for a then standard period of seven years, and continued as a journeyman printer at age 16 he was the third of five sons, they had three younger sisters, he was editor of the Bucks County Messenger in 1821. A year later, he moved to Washington, D.C., and studied political movements while working for the printing firm of Gales and Seton. On 17 October 1822 in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Cameron married Margaret Brewer 1794-1875, daughter of Peter Brewer the 19th of February 1771 to the 1st of January 1842 and Catherine Rupley 1777 to 19 January 1832, the daughter of Johann Jacob Ruppel alias Lieutenant Jacob Rupley. Cameron purchased and ran the Harrisburg Republican in 1824. Cameron served as state printer of Pennsylvania from 1825 until 1827, and was state adjutant general in 1826. He constructed several rail lines and merged them into the Northern Central Railway. He founded the Bank of Middletown in 1832 and engaged in other business enterprises. In 1838, he was appointed as commissioner to settle claims of the Winnebago Indians. Politics Cameron began his political career as a Democrat, supporting the campaigns of Andrew Jackson and Martin Van Buren. He was elected to replace James Buchanan in the United States Senate in 1845, serving until 1849. A persistent opponent of slavery, Cameron switched to the Know Nothing Party, before joining the Republican Party in 1856. In 1857, Cameron was again elected to the U.S. Senate. At the 1860 Republican National Convention, Cameron controlled the votes of the Pennsylvania delegation. He delivered those votes to Abraham Lincoln for the nomination for president, which was decisive. In return, Lincoln's managers promised a cabinet post for Cameron. When Lincoln became president, he reluctantly appointed Cameron Secretary of War. His tenure was marked by allegations of corruption and lax management, and he was forced to resign early in 1862. 
His corruption was so notorious that U.S. Representative Thaddeus Stevens also from Pennsylvania, when asked whether Cameron would steal, said, "'I don't think that he would steal a red-hot stove.'" Cameron demanded Stevens retract this insult. Stevens said to Lincoln, "'I believe I told you he would not steal a red-hot stove. I will now take that back.'" Cameron was succeeded as Secretary of War by Edwin Stanton, who had been serving as Cameron's legal advisor. Cameron then served as minister to Russia. Cameron's brother, James Cameron, colonel of the 79th New York Volunteer Infantry Regiment, was killed in action at the First Battle of Bull Run on July 21, 1861. Cameron made a political comeback after the Civil War, building a powerful state party machine that would dominate Pennsylvania politics for the next 70 years. In 1866, Cameron was again elected to the Senate. Cameron convinced his close friend Ulysses S. Grant to appoint his son, James Donald Cameron, as Secretary of War in 1876. Later that year, Cameron helped Rutherford B. Hayes win the Republican nomination in 1876. Cameron resigned from the Senate in 1877 after assuring that his son would succeed him. Though Cameron had intended for his son to succeed him as head of the state machine, Matthew Key ultimately succeeded Cameron as the party boss. Later life Cameron retired to his farm at Donegal Springs Cameron Estate near Maytown, Pennsylvania where he died on June 26, 1889. He is buried in the Harrisburg Cemetery in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Cameron County, Pennsylvania, and Cameron Parish, Louisiana, are named in his honor. See also Simon Cameron House and Bank, Middletown, Pennsylvania Simon Cameron House, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania Simon Cameron School, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania <laughs>